If you're getting ready to do a DIY greenhouse or high tunnel build, or you're looking to make some improvements to your existing high tunnel or greenhouse structure, there are some building components you absolutely need to know about. That's why in this video, I'm gonna show you 10 crucial greenhouse building components you need to know about. And make sure you stick around at the end of this video because while you'll probably recognize some of the hardware components I'm gonna show you, there are some more obscure ones which you might be seeing for the first time. And as always, if you like any of the building components or greenhouses shown in this video, I'll have direct links in the description where you can find them. Number one, brace bands. This is a very common building component for greenhouses, high tunnels, and hoop houses. And brace bands are used to connect corner braces, peak braces, to create trusses and truss supports for the rafters. They're used to connect pearl end ends to the bows at each end wall. And they're also used to connect your end wall framing to your round bow. So if you have lumber or square steel tube, you're gonna need a way to transition that tubing to a round tube. Brace bands are the way to do that. Number two, cross connectors. Cross connectors are used to connect two perpendicular tubes when they're running over top of each other. So one tube's going this way, another tube's going this way. You put cross connectors over top of them and using bolts and nuts, you're gonna connect those together and create a firm union between those two perpendicular tubes. These are primarily used for purlins, which are wind braces that go the full length of the structure from one end to the other. And so they're a major part of any greenhouse, high tunnel, or hoop house build. Number three, end cups. End cups are awesome, specifically for budget hoop house or high tunnel makers who are fabricating their own structures. This little fitting here can go on the end of round tubing, which will then allow you to use a brace band to connect it to another round tubing. So basically, if you're trying to make your own corner braces, if you're trying to make your own peak braces, if you're trying to make your own rafters, your truss rafters, you actually could put these on either end of a round tube and it could connect to your hoop on you know, each side of the structure. And these end cups are really great because these are pressed steel end cups. These are super heavy duty end cups compared to some of the other ones that are out there. Number four, everyone loves these, tech screws. Tech screws are used as a primary building component for hoop houses, high tunnels and greenhouses. So these are basically screws that allow you to connect metal to metal. So you can screw through metal and attach something to the metal. They come with various drivers, whether hex head or pan head, and they're used for everything from connecting ground posts to hoops, to connecting hoop pieces together, to connecting purlin runs together, to connecting your snap clamps to your roll-up side. So tech screws are a very important building component for any greenhouse. Number five, single or double aluminum spring wire channel. This channel is the best way, in my opinion, for attaching greenhouse plastic to a structure. It can be screwed to metal. It can bend over your end bow. We actually have a video on that that we recently published showing how easy it is to bend this material over the top of a bow. You can pre-drill it and attach it to lumber as well. And the double channel that we use has a nice slot on the back of it that allows you to use a bolt and nut and a two-hole strap for attaching to your structure. So single and double aluminum spring wire channel are perfect for attaching greenhouse plastic to your structure. I highly recommend it. Number six, two-hole straps. Two-hole straps can be used for connecting the peak purlin to the top of your bows on the interior of your structure. It's also with double aluminum channel hip rail to attach the hip rail to the side of the structure. These are the main components used if you're using lumber for your baseboard and your hip rail. You'll actually use one or two of these to connect your lumber from the outside. So your lumber's on the outside, two-hole straps on the inside, and it's wonderful. Number seven, end wall brackets. So if you have lumber or steel, end wall brackets are huge and there's three different primary ones that I like to talk about. This is a two by four lumber bracket assembly. Essentially this goes on top of two by fours, four by fours, and then with a brace band, which we talked about a moment ago, it connects to a round two. Use just regular wood screws to attach this to the top of two by fours. Next that I'm gonna talk about, this is the second one here. This is a two by two bracket assembly. This is if you're gonna use two inch square steel tubing. It fits right on top and again, using tech screws, you can attach it to the top end of your square tubing and then attach your round bow. This is the third end wall bracket I'm, I wanna talk about. This is kinda cool because it can be used for lumber or steel. You got this hole right here. This will receive a brace band which will go on a round bow. But these holes here provide various points of contact that you can screw with tech screws or lumber screws or you can bolt it to lumber. And because there are so many screws on this twist plate, and it's called a twist plate because it twists at the top here, uh, because there are so many holes, this is great if maybe you miscut some lumber and you need to span a distance that's a little bit greater between your bow and the top end of that lumber, you actually can still make contact because you have all of these holes and you can still get one, two, or three points of securement 
in the top of your end wall framing. So these twist plates are really great for that purpose and they're kind of obscure. Not a lot of people know about these. Number eight, snap clamps. Snap clamps are pushed over top of the plastic and onto round tubing. So you can use these to create a very straight and super smooth roll up side. Additionally, snap clamps can be used as another pair of hands when you're putting up your end wall plastic or you're putting on your corner wind panels. And another thing that these can be used for is creating interior partitions inside your greenhouse high tunnel or hoop house. So essentially you can use these snap clamps to push the plastic over top of the bow in one of your middle bows to create a wall inside your structure. And this is ideal if you're trying to create a smaller space within your larger structure for let's say heating. If you wanted to heat a smaller space, use less energy when you're starting seats. But number nine, gearboxes. So gearboxes are a component used on roll-up side systems. They can also be used on roll-up end walls if you have a large entrance on one of your end walls. Essentially, these help transfer the weight of your roll bar into this gearbox so it's easier to roll up and down for your arms. And this is extremely important if your structure is a little bit longer. So typically I would say that these are really recommended if your structure is 72 feet or longer. They also have tons of function if you do shorter structures as well. Uh, a function that they have is an internal break. So what that means is as you roll up and down your side, you could roll up three inches, you can roll up one foot, you can roll up three foot. Wherever you remove the handle, it doesn't unroll on you, which some of the more budget options like universal joint handles and simple handles, you need to have a rope tie off, you put the rope into the handle, that's what prevents it from unrolling. So whenever you stop going up and down, this also stops going up and down and it doesn't unravel. And there are various types of gearbox operators. There are five to one, seven to one, 13 to one, 15 to one. And essentially what that means is it, it refers to the number of rotations you make on this end with the, the handle for every one rotation of your bar. So the higher the number, like a 15 to one or a 13 to one, you'd want those for longer structures. Like for example, this is a 13 to one gearbox operator. It's used, we use it for structures that are longer than 48 feet up to about 144 feet. We also have a seven to one gearbox operator, which is used for structures 48 feet or less. Number 10, and I've talked about this fitting before because I love it, the easy snap hook. Easy snap hooks are one of the primary components we like to use on anti-billow rope systems for roll up sides. I mean, they have a hole in them so you know where to pre-drill if you're gonna bolt it to a structure. And it has this back on it, which is perfect for fitting into single or double aluminum channel. It can slide right in and then the pressure kind of holds it in place. We do like to bolt it, but this still makes it really easy to set it exactly where you want it. And third, it has this open slot here. You can slide rope right over top of it when you're doing your anti-billow rope system. Unlike with eye bolts, you'd have to thread through with the end of a rope on every single individual one. You can set the rope out when you're using an easy snap hook and just slot it over. And then for the ones that are on your baseboard, slot it under. These easy snap hooks go a long way for making for an easier roll up side anti billow solution. So I love these. So those are 10 crucial building components that you'll need for any high tunnel hoop house or greenhouse build. That is not an exhaustive list. There are many other greenhouse building components out there and I could talk for a long time about all of those, but these 10, these 10 are very important and they go a long way in making your greenhouse high tunnel or hoop house build a lot less stressful and a lot easier. And if you liked any of the materials we used in making this video, I'll have direct links in the description below to where you can find them. If you like watching videos on season extension and season extension structures, consider subscribing to our channel. Thanks for watching.